Good morning, friends. Happy Thanksgiving fasting. I appreciate God for your life and my life. Father, we thank you again, sustainer of life. Thank you for this seed, this fast that is this in the second day already. Glory be to your name. Daddy, we are grateful. Faithful God, we are grateful. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Friends, we told us yesterday obedience is key when it comes to fasting. And we want to talk about something else today, repentance. Praise the Lord. I read from the same uh, scripture, remember Isaiah 58, I'm reading from verse 4 to 6 today. From verse 4 to 6, it says, For I know how stubborn and obstinate you are. Your necks are as unbending as iron. Your heads are as hard as bronze. That is why I told you that, I told you what will happen. I told you beforehand what I was going to do. Then you could never say, my idol did it. My wooden image and metal God commanded it to happen. You have heard my predictions and seen when fulfilled, but you refuse to admit it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, please. There's a mistake there. I was reading something else. I was wondering, I, I'm not where I should be. Praise the Lord. Pastors can make mistakes, but God never makes mistakes. Sorry, I read. What good is fasting when you keep on fighting and quarreling? This kind of fast will never get you anywhere with me. Verse 5. You humble yourself by going through the motions of penance, bowing your head like reeds bending in the wind. You dress in bolas and cover yourself with ashes. Is this what you call fasting? Do you really think that this will please the Lord? No, this is the kind of fast. I want. One, free those who are wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the body of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that bind the people. Let's stop there for today. Repentance. If you don't repent of your wrongdoing, your fast is in vain. If you keep doing the same thing and you expect that the Lord will look in your direction, the things that are not worthy of His name, you'll be wasting your resources. The Bible records, and I'd like to read it to us in James chapter 1, and in James chapter 4, from verse 1, I will just read from verse 1 to 4. James chapter 4. It says clearly, Say, what is causing the quarrel and fighting among you? Don't they come from the evil desire of war within you? You want what you don't have. So you scheme and kill to get it. You are jealous of what others have. But you, don't, you can't get it. So you fight and wait war to take it away from them. Yet you don't have what you want. Because you don't ask God for it. And when you ask, you don't get it because your motives are wrong. You want only what will give you pleasure. Let me stop there. Beloved brethren, I'm sure the scripture has told you already. A lot of people are not getting results with all spiritual exercise and activity because they are doing it wrongly. Beloved brethren, don't do it wrongly this time around. Do it right. Repent. Come back to God. Stop fighting. Stop jealousy. Stop covetousness. Stop hatred. Stop uh, bitterness. Stop all those things. Those things won't get you anywhere with God. You need God this year. And we are starting on a good note of thanksgiving. And see, God weighs the intent of the heart. 1 Samuel chapter 2 from verse 2 and 3. He weighs the motive of whatever you are doing. Beloved, 
change, repent, reconsider your ways, and I believe God will be glorified. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Thank you so much. Happy fasting.